Hello guys, welcome to Kiridid. It's been a while since I have published video in this channel. Henceforth, you will be getting regular updates on placement preparation as well as competitive exam videos. So at this video, we are going to discuss the doubt asked by one of my students on problem solving. So here I have the question. So I thought it will be helpful if I make a video with that question. So you could see the question. So it is a single question. So if you want to solve, so you can pause this video and practice it for some time. So here the question. The distance between two stations is 340 km. Two trains start simultaneously from the stations on parallel tracks to cross each other. The speed of one of them is greater than that of other by 5 km per hour. If the distance between the two trains after two hours of their start is 30 km, find speed of each train. So the question is very simple and you can find the question is based on time, speed and distance. So we know the basic relationship between time, speed and distance, right? So we can write distance equal to speed into time. So which we have discussed in our time, speed and distance chapter. So distance equal to speed into time. Now, what is given in the question? So we have two stations. So we can name it as A and B. So here we have station A and here it is station B. And what is distance between these two stations? It is 340 kilometer. So distance between A and B is 340 kilometer. Now it is given two trains start simultaneously from the stations on parallel tracks to cross each other. So one train is starting from A and another train is starting from B. And they are uh, traveling towards each other. And it is given the speed of one of them is greater than the other by five kilometer per five kilometer per hour. So we can keep speed of the first train is x kilometer per hour. Then what will be speed of the second train? It is x plus five kilometer per hour. See, you can keep uh, the train starting from A as X or train starting from B as X. So it could be anything. So train starting from B is X plus 5 km per hour. Now, if the distance between two trains after two hours of their start is 30 km, which means uh, you can assume the train is starting by 7 a.m. After two hours, it is 9 a.m. So at 9 a.m., what is distance between both the trains? It is 30 kilometers. That means the train starting from A have uh, covered certain distance and train starting from B have covered certain distance. And what is distance between both the trains after two hours? It is 30 kilometers, right? So the train starting from A have uh, covered certain distance and the train starting from B have covered certain distance. And obviously, train starting from B would have covered more, uh, I mean, distance comparing to uh, the train starting from A because speed of the train is comparatively higher right now what is distance between uh, both the trains after two hours it is given 30 kilometers right so now the train is here and another train is here now what is distance between both the trains it is 30 kilometers right which means both the trains together have covered how many kilometers out of 340 kilometers both the trains have covered 310 kilometers right See, out of 340 kilometers, if both the trains join together, it could cover 30 kilometers, which means it have covered 310 kilometers. Together, it have covered 310 kilometers. Now, we know distance equal to speed into time. Now, what is time equal to? So, you can rewrite it, right? So, time equal to distance by speed. Now, what is the time? Now, in two hours, in two hours, both the trains have covered totally 310 kilometers moving towards each other, right? So the total distance covered is 310 kilometers. Now you want to find the speed. Now we know speed of the uh, train starting from A is X kilometer per hour and speed of the train starting from B is X plus five kilometer per hour. Now it is given both the trains are moving simultaneously towards each other, right? So crossing towards each other. That means both the trains are moving in opposite direction or same direction. So both the trains are moving in opposite direction. Am I right? So if both the trains are moving in opposite direction, for example, if uh, the train starting from A covers X kilometer, then train starting from B will cover X plus five kilometers. So together it will cover how many kilometers? X plus X plus five kilometer. So if you want to keep an value, I will explain like this. So if uh, speed of the train A is, let's say a six kilometer per hour, and the speed of the train B is, so train B is how many kilometers higher comparing to A? It is five kilometer higher comparing to A, right? So it is six plus five. 11 kilometer per hour which means if you take both the trains so tra uh, train starting from a will cover six kilometer and train starting from b will cover 11 kilometer together it will, it will cover how many kilometers 17 kilometers right so similarly train starting from a will cover x kilometer and train starting from b will cover x plus five kilometer together it will cover x plus x plus five kilometer so we can uh, write the relative speed of both the trains as x plus x plus five 
so you have to keep in mind when trains are moving in opposite direction you have to add the speeds to find relative speed when the trains are moving in same direction you have to subtract the speeds to find the relative speed now you can easily find the value of x so 2 equivalent to 310 divided by 2x plus 5. Now you can solve this. It's how many times? 1 times and it is uh, 5 times and this is 5 times, 155. So you can take this 2x plus 5 equal to 155 here. Now what is value of x? So I mean 2x equal to, so if you take this 5 to right hand side, you get 155 minus 5 which is 150. Now what is value of x? 150 by 2, you get 75. Now what is 75? So we kept speed of the uh, first train is 6 km per hour, which means the speed of the train starting from A is 75 km per hour. Then what is speed of the train starting from B? It is 5 km higher, right? So it is X plus 5. So that is 80 km per hour. So speed of one train is 75 km per hour and speed of the another train is 80 km per hour. And th this becomes our answer. I hope you are clear with the problem. So henceforth, you will be getting uh, problems on a regular basis. So we have uh, planned to create a regular challenge on aptitude questions. So which is a 100 day challenge. So keep on connected. So you'll be getting a lot of stuff from this channel. So if you like this video, like it. And if you have any doubts, pass it on the comment session. Thank you so much for your patience. Have a great day.